In this video, we're going to take a look at how to divide polynomials. And I'm going to show you two different methods. Uh, the first one, uh, we're actually going to divide this two different ways. Uh, we're going to divide 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 8x plus 15 by the binomial x minus 3. So we're going to take a look at long division first and then another method called synthetic, synthetic division. So in long division, uh, you like write it just the same as you would long division with numbers. And so um, we're dividing by the divisor is x minus 3, and we're dividing into this uh, cubic polynomial. So the first thing that you do in long division with uh, algebraic expressions is you take the highest power of x that you're dividing by, and you divide it into the highest power of x in your polynomial. So you basically take 2x cubed and divide it by x. Well, that would be 2x squared. And so we would put 2x squared on top. Now, you line it up above its like terms. We don't put it here or here or here. We put it above the negative 5x squared or the, the, the spot where the x squared term would be. So next, and just like long division with numbers, you take that and multiply it by the divisor. So 2x squared times x minus 3 would be 2x cubed minus 6x squared. Again, the 6x squared comes multiplying this by the negative 3. And we'll put a line underneath it, and you subtract in long division. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed would be nothing. So we, you can put 0 there, I suppose, or 0x cubed, but you, you, it's normal not to. So we take negative 5x squared and subtract negative 6x squared. Now, subtracting a negative is the same as adding the opposite. So it's really negative 5x squared plus 6x squared, which would be 1x squared. And then we bring the negative 8x down. So next, you would divide the x here into the x squared, and that goes 1x times. So we put a 1x up here, and then multiply that x by the x minus 3, and put that below here. And so we subtract again, and again, x squared minus x squared is nothing. That should always be nothing there. Negative 8x, now take, take away negative 3x, would be the same as negative 8x plus 3x, which would be negative 5x. And then we bring down the 15. And then we divide the negative 5x from that by the x, where it goes in negative 5 times. So we put negative 5 on the top here. And so we know, multiply negative 5 by the x minus 3. And negative 5 times x is negative 5x. Negative 5 times negative 3 is 15. And we subtract and we get a remainder of 0 in this case. Now, so that's how we divide by long division. So basically, the 2x cubed polynomial divided by x minus 3 equals 2x squared plus x minus 5. And we'll get into the uh, division statement actually uh, in, in a bit. Now, of course, that's the remainder. Oh, actually, I forgot. This is, there's two different ways to write the division statement. So we divided x minus 3 into this polynomial. We got 2x squared plus x minus 5. Now, this is how you do it by what's called synthetic division. And so you, this is the synthetic division symbol. And there's a, a blank line here. We're going to put some numbers in in a moment. And so it kind of looks a bit like an upside down long division symbol. And so the 2x cubed, the negative 5x squared minus 8x plus 15. So those are just the coefficients. So it's really the same thing as in this line without the x's. Now, we're dividing by x minus 3, and what goes here is the restriction on that division. You see, I've divided this 2x cubed polynomial by x minus 3, so x would not be allowed to equal 3. There's actually a restriction on this division, because if x was 3, then you'd be dividing by 0, and that's undefined. So that's why we put the 3 here. You actually put the restriction for the division. Now, this is the way synthetic division goes. You just bring down the leading 2, so we'll put a 2 right there. And you multiply that 2 by the 3. So 3 times 2 is 6. So we put a 6 right here. Now, um, one of the differences between synthetic division and long division, in long division, you subtract successive rows. This minus this gave us the x squared. This minus this gave us the negative 5x. In synthetic division, you add instead. So it's negative 5 plus 6, which would be 1. And then you multiply that 1 by the 3 again. 3 times 1 would be 3, and we'll put a 3 right there. And you add that to the negative 8. Negative 8 and 3 add to uh, negative 5. And negative 5 times 3 is negative 15, and we add those. And see, that's the remainder. This symbol here, this up vertical bar, uh, separates uh, basically the answer for, uh, from the remainder. This is the remainder. Now, uh, remember, 
the uh, answer over here was 2x squared plus 1x minus 5. Well, that's the coefficient of that. So 2, 1, negative 5 are the coefficients there. And there's actually some other uh, connections too. This 6 is the opposite of that number. This 3 is the opposite of that number. And this negative 15 is the opposite of that number. So there are some connections between the numbers in the Zeta division. Of course, these numbers are basically uh, the cubic polynomial, etc. So that's how the synthetic division goes. So basically, we divided the cubic polynomial 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 8x plus 15 by x minus 3, and we got 2x squared plus 1x minus 5. Now, another way to write the division statement is you, you can write it like this. You see, if you take this division statement, or this one's the same thing, and if we were to multiply both sides by x minus 3, and actually just let me do that here for a moment. So if I multiplied, I guess really should put brackets around this. If I multiply both sides by x minus 3, that's supposed to be on the left here. And then we'll take this. Now I would normally put this on the left, but... So what happens is this would divide it with this, and you're just left with this cubic polynomial on the left, which is what's here, and it equals the product of this trinomial and this binomial, which is basically what's here. And I guess it doesn't matter which one you write first. And of course, this is the restriction I was referring to, the uh, x cannot equal 3. And so on to the uh, second example, we're asked, and I'm going to focus mostly on synthetic division, but uh, of course you can do anything by long division that you could by synthetic. So we're going to divide uh, 2x cubed minus 3x minus 4 by x plus 2. Now, notice in this cubic polynomial, and here's my synthetic division statement, uh, not the division statement, just the synthetic division, there's no x squared. And so same as in long division, you would put a 0x squared in long division, so we need to put a 0 between the 2, and the negative 3. So whenever you have a term missing, uh, you have to account for that. Because if I didn't put the 0 there, then I'm only dividing this x plus 2 into, if I went 2, negative 3, negative 4, it would actually be 2x squared minus 3x minus 4. But it's supposed to be 2x cubed. And the restriction on x, the x plus 2 would, x can't equal negative 2, because that's the value that would make that uh, divisor 0. And so we'll put a negative 2 here. So bring the 2 down. And 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. And we'll add that to the 0, which gives us, of course, negative 4. Uh, negative 4 times negative 2 would be a positive 8, and add that to the negative 3 to give us 5. And 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So we add those, and we get negative 14. We don't get a 0 remainder this time, because you don't always get a 0 remainder. That's one of the things I wanted to show in this example. And so the division statement would look like this, one of the two division statements. Uh, I divided x plus 2 into this, and I got 2x squared minus 4x plus 5, and then the remainder is negative 14, so that would be subtracted or added negative 14 on the end. So basically, if you expand this out, and of course subtract negative 14, you should get 2x cubed minus 3x minus 4. That was how you, how you could check any uh, division whatsoever. And, of course, the restriction would be x cannot equal negative 2. Example number 3, we're asked to divide uh, this uh, cubic polynomial by 3x minus 4. So this is the last thing I want to show. Um, if the binomial isn't just x minus something or x plus something, how you handle that in synthetic division. Because long division, you would just stick that 3x minus 4 on the left side. So here's my symbol, and we'll put the 6, negative 11, 13, and negative 7 top. That part's exactly the same. Now, the restriction on the division would be 3x minus 4 uh, is not allowed to equal 0. So if we take the 4 over, of course, it's going to be positive, and divide out the 3, uh, the restriction would be x can't equal 4 thirds. So 4 thirds is what you stick or place on the left side of the uh, synthetic division symbol. And so, uh, same as before, we bring the 6 down and multiply the 6 by the 4 thirds. Now, maybe we'll go back to uh, my felt tip pen. So, and I'll just do this rough work over here. So, if we take 4 thirds 
and multiply it by 6. You will generally find, uh, as long as it's going in evenly, of course, that this will divide into the number you're multiplying it by. So 3 goes into 6 twice. So this is basically 4 times 2. And so uh, that would be 8. And so we add that negative 11 to the 8 to get negative 3. So now we're going to multiply the 4 thirds by negative 3. So 4 thirds times the negative 3. And 3 goes into that and negative 1 times. So 4 times negative 1 would be negative 4. So negative 4 goes there. And we add that to the 13 to give us 9. And so one last time, uh, 4 thirds times the 9. So 3 goes into 9 three times. And I can go back to my arrow now. So 4 times 3 would be uh, 12. So put 12 there, negative 7 and 12 add to 5. Now, we've actually divided by, by placing the 4 thirds here, x minus 4 thirds. But there's, uh, and it doesn't take too much work to do to show how you actually get the 3x minus 4 as your divisor. So this is how we would write the division statement, or the beginning of it anyway. So the cubic polynomial we started with equals the product of, and this would be x minus 4 thirds, times 6x squared minus 3x plus 9. And don't forget about the remainder, the, the plus 5 in the end. So basically the polynomial equals this times this, and this of course would be the x minus 4 thirds, and be 6x squared minus 3x plus 9. Now, we really want to see the division, see if there was a, a 3x minus 4 here, not an x minus 4 thirds. Notice that there is a common factor of 3 in these terms. So we can factor a 3 out of that 6x squared minus 3x plus 9. So if we factor a, a 3 out, 3 out of 6x squared gives us 2x squared. 3x, 3 out of a negative 3x gives us negative 1x. And 3 out of a 9 gives us a 3. Okay, so that's factored out. Now what we do is we distribute or expand in the 3 into the x minus 4 thirds. So 3 times x would be 3x. Now when you multiply the 3 by the 4 thirds, the 3's divide out and you get just minus 4. So that's how you get the, uh, the 3x minus 4. So basically this polynomial to divide by 3x minus 4 will give you 2x squared minus x plus 3 and then with the remainder of 5 in the end. So that's how you divide by a binomial when there's a, a number other than 1 by the uh, x or whatever your variable is. Uh, I've talked about divisor a, a bit, uh, <coughs> excuse me, just a, a little bit of terminology at the end here. It, uh, you're, th what you're dividing by is called the divisor, and you're dividing into the dividend, and the answer is the quotient. Now there's also the remainder too, so the two division statements look like this. If you take a, a dividend, it's equal to the divisor times the quotient, so this is equal to the product of these two things, and plus whatever the remainder is. Now, if you take this division statement, and maybe we'll go back to the arrow for, uh, pen here. If we divide both sides by the divisor, i got to read it three times, I guess, here. Then you actually get the other division statement uh, over here as well. So we divide everything by both sides. Of course, it uh, divides out here, and so you get dividend divided by divisor equals the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. So that's the, the terminology around the, the four different parts to the division, uh, divisor, dividend, quotient, and remainder. And that's the end of the video.